my dear friends welcome to rajeshekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 88 in this lecture we will try to understand designing turing machine design a turing machine for l equal to wc w such that w belongs to a comma b whole star before understanding this lecture i request you to go through lecture number 87 in which we discussed turing machine for palindrome palindrome in the sense we discussed for even palindrome as well as for odd palindrome now we will try to analyze this particular language we we already constructed pda push down automata for wc w power r what we were doing in in that class we were pushing all the symbols of this word after reaching c we were popping corresponding symbols therefore once if i pop a word from the stack you will get matching symbols so that stack will get emptied but here it is not possible to implement push down automata for this particular language you cannot construct the pda for this language what is the reason i can push all the symbols of word after reaching c i if i pop i will get reverse of that particular string but here it is not reverse therefore if i push something from the stack a stack i will get reverse string reverse string i cannot compare the original string or original word therefore i cannot construct a push down automata for this particular language as we discussed in chomsky hierarchy of languages turing machine is powerful than push down automata for this particular language we can always construct turing machine now we will try to understand logic behind this particular language now what is saying w belongs to a comma b whole star means for simplicity let me consider a string a b a a b let me say this is w and this one is also a b a a b this is also w this is in the form of w c w now logic is so simple here i will replace this a by x and this b by y isn't it why am i taking the sample string to construct a uh, turing machine so that i will try to cover all the cases now how will it be uh, as i told you this logic is simple first i will re replace this a by x and i will search for a corresponding a on on right side of c therefore the which which one can i uh, replace this is this one i can replace this is this i will replace with x and in the next stage i will replace this by y uh, as it is b as we were discussing b must be replaced by y and in the next stage this will be this this is another iteration therefore this is first iteration let me say this is first iteration this this is second iteration again this is x and this will be x this is this one is third one third iteration again this is x this is also x is it it again this will y this will be y uh, by that stage all a will be replaced by x and all b will be replaced by how will it be i will try to analyze uh, this, this is the strategy or this is the logic behind this problem it is simple and straight forward Uh, let me analyze this problem let q not is the initial state of my turing machine according to my logic if i come across a what i have to do let me say if i have a what is the logic this a must be replaced by x that's what i am doing here this is a must be replaced by x after replacing a with x where should i go i must move right side therefore a q not on a if you q not your input a is a must be replaced by x yes i am replacing a by x the now that you are read right head will move right side yes i am moving right side 
No, my duty is I must find corresponding A. How can I find? I must reach till till I, I must move. I I must move in right direction till I reach C, isn't it? In between C and this X, if I come across A's and B's, simply blindly I must move move forward. Why? Because I need corresponding A. Where can I get that corresponding A? Here. I must reach here. I must reach here. How can I reach? Let's see. Yes, this is a is replaced by x, and I am moving right side. Now I am in I am in state Q1. Now after this first a, if I come across b or a, simply b must be replaced by b and move right side. Simply a must be replaced by a. Just move right side. Just if I come across b, just move right side. If I come across a, move right side. If I come across a again, move right side. If I come across b again, move right side. Yes. Once if I reach C, what I have to do? I must search for a corresponding A. Therefore, once if it is B, just replace B by B. If it is A, replace A by A. Simply move blindly right side. Now till now what I did, this is replaced by X. I am moving, 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 moving right side till I reach C. Once if I get C, this C must be replaced by C. After replacing C with C, I must move right side. Now. After this one, as I already marked A with X, now I must search for A. Now, if I get A, what I have to do? This A must be replaced by X. That's why. If if I come across A, that A must be replaced by X. Immediately, what I have to do? I must move left side, isn't it? Why? Because I have got corresponding A. I'm I'm constructing Turing machine for acceptable strings. Uh, I'm not bothering uh, non-acceptable strings. If it is non-acceptable string, uh, simply Turing machine will halt. If it is halt, means that particular string is not accept accepted by uh, Turing machine, isn't it? Now where can I go? I must move. Uh, I must move left side of this one. Now where we are? We are we are at C, isn't it? We are at C. Now what is the logic? This C must be replaced by C. And that that's what it says. C must be replaced by C. And where can I move? I must move left side. Now my control is here. Now, now my duty is I must go back till I reach capital X. We already placed capital X in the place of small a. In in between this capital X and in between this C, I may get A's or B's. I may get A's or B's. Even if I get A's or B's. What I have to do? I must blindly replace B by B, A by A, and I must keep on moving left side till I reach symbol capital X. Once if I come across capital X, what does it mean? This capital X must be replaced by capital X. Simply, I must move right side, isn't it? What does it mean? Till now, what we what we did? Till now, what we did? First, I replace this one is X. Now I searched for corresponding a, uh, corresponding a, and I, I I came back came back. Now uh, x is replaced by x. Once if I come across q4 on x means what? X is replaced by x. Yes, x is now uh, x is replaced by x. Now where we are? We are moving right side. Therefore my control is here. Now what I have to do? I must define transition for b. What is the logic here? It is logic is so simple as we were discussing. This B must be replaced by Y. After uh, after replacing B by Y, I must move further till I reach C. In between in between Y and C, if I get A or B, what I have to do? I must replace A by A and B by B. Uh, I must not change them. I must keep them as it is till I reach C. And C must be replaced by C, isn't it? Even if I come across capital X, I must replace uh, capital X by capital X. I must keep on moving right side. Once if I come across B, what I have to do? This B must be replaced by Y, isn't it? That's what it says. If if, if I get the, that B, that B must be replaced by Y. After replacing B with Y, again I must uh, come back. Just just let me. Check this. All these transitions in next slide. Just see this one. The, the, that's what we were discussing. What it says. Just see Q naught on B. What we were doing uh, already. We we already. Th this is replaced by X, and uh, this one is also replaced by X. We came back. 
we came back our control is here what i have to do this b must be replaced by y that's what it says logic says just see b must be replaced by y after replacing b with y where should i move i must move right side if i move right side i am here therefore now now i must uh, search for corresponding b therefore in between c and this y i may get a's or b's if i get a or b what i have to do a must be replaced by a and b must be replaced by b just see this i must i i must keep them as it is once if i reach c what's the my logic my logic says c must be replaced by c as i am searching for corresponding b the c must be replaced by c after replacing c with c i must move right side uh, yes uh, i must move right side uh, let me re uh, let me rewrite it again uh, what we did till now this is replaced by x and uh, this is replaced by x this is replaced by y i am moving moving this a is replaced by a b is replaced by b and if once if i get c what what i am doing c must be replaced by c isn't it till this stage it's okay now what what i did now what i have to do i may get x what i have to do if i get x x must be replaced by x even in future case cases i am searching for corresponding b i need corresponding b now if even in between if i get x if i get x here i have x x must be replaced by x if i continue next next iteration i will get y also therefore if i get y y must be replaced by y and i must move right side once if i get b what is the logic once if i am searching for corresponding b once if i get b that b must be replaced by y after immediately i must move back i must move this this b now it's a logic logic is so simple uh, uh, let me analyze once uh, once again this is x this is converted into y uh, this is also x this is also converted into y now my read right head is here uh, b must be replaced this b is replaced by y and left side in between i may get x x must be replaced by x even in future cases if i get y y must be replaced by i must keep on moving left side till i reach c once if i reach c c must be replaced by c and uh, le uh, left side i must move now what is my logic T I, i must go back a must be replaced by a b must be replaced by b till which stage after after crossing this c after crossing this c i must search for y why because we, we are processing for b isn't it till i reach y y y is replaced by y this is simple similar to this one just compare this one this is for a this is for b why must be replaced by y I, i must go back y must be replaced by y and i must go back uh, this this is the arrow isn't it uh, y must be replaced by y and i i i, I must uh, uh, go back uh, after y must be replaced by y after that where can i go i must go to right side isn't it now a a means we already discussed this transition same procedure will get executed after some stage after some stage what happens all is just keep on explore this one after some stage what happen what happens this a will be replaced by x and this a will also replaced by x this b will replaced by y and this b will also replaced by y this a is replaced by x this a is also replaced by x this a is replaced by x this a is replaced by x this b will be replaced by y this will be replaced by y we we will left with only c in that case what happens if i come across c we already defined for a we already defined for b now if i come across c what i have to do c must be replaced by c just move right side and even if you get x or y x must be replaced by x move right side y must be replaced by y move right side till which stage once if you get blank symbol means if i get blank symbol means blank symbol must be replaced with blank symbol just move right side here here right or left which it will not make any difference once if you come across uh, once if you come across blank symbol just you are reaching to final state if you are reaching into final state what does it mean this particular string uh, wc which string wc w is accepted by Uh, this turing mission you must always remember we constructed a uh, uh, turing mission for valid strings if there is any invalid string in between that uh, turing mission will halt 
at non-final state so that you can conclude that for uh, non-valid strings this particular Turing machine cannot accept it is uh, just go through it once if you go uh, before uh, again let me uh, again I'm saying just go through my lecture number 87 understand explore it and try with sample strings uh, in that case if you go through uh, lecture number 87 understanding lecture number 88 is so simple and straightforward if you have any difficulty just uh, just let me know your doubts just uh, just keep me updated in uh, if you keep some update in youtube uh, i will answer thank you very much